certainly thanks for the uh, one that started talks. That was pretty uh, pretty impressive to get your message across so quickly. Um, and there's a lot of themes uh, that are you know being talked about at the moment. One of them being on demand, uh, particularly around media and things like Netflix and how this is going to impact terrestrial broadcasters. Um, but in recent periods, you've seen terrestrial broadcasters start to come back and generate original content and fight back. And actually, I was watching a great comedy um, on BBC last night um, with just the most wonderful, colourful characters saying the most sort of amazing and crazy and funny things. Really, really funny. Um, guys, check it out. It's called The News. <laughs> Hashtag Brexit. Anyway, so, Kenneth Partners, we invest in fast-growing bootstrap technology companies. Um, we been around since 1997. Um, we typically invest anywhere between five and $20 million per company, and we're focused on helping companies massively scale. Um, I guess the main thing that's different about us, which uh, is really core to everything we do, is we focus exclusively on bootstrap companies. So what bootstrapping is, is building a business without relying on external capital, or at least not much external capital. So for us, the reason we do this is we believe that bootstrap founders are able to essentially beat the odds, build value, build scale, and that customer validation. If you can get a customer to give you money, that's much better validation than getting you know, an investor to give you money. So we typically work with these businesses where you have founders who are passionately driven to build companies, get them to a point of scale where, uh, where, where we can invest in them. Um, in terms of the uh, you know, Kenneth's um, philosophy, from a uh, returns perspective, um, you know, our view is that businesses that are able to generate a uh, you know, good level of revenue without reliance on capital, um, typically because they've used their own capital efficiently, they're more likely to use our capital efficiently. Um, our model is to make money on every single deal that we do. We do not have a venture capital model, we're in fact the antithesis of venture capital, where you're trying to get one or two big hits and you tolerate high level of failures. You know, we're really focused on all of our deals being, being successful. And so because we only invest in bootstrap founders, we have an operating model based on helping those bootstrap founders scale. Um, so maybe I'll give you an example of a, a, a recent active deal that we're working on and, and what we're doing with, with, with Gus. So we recently, a few months ago, invested $10 million in a business called Receipt Bank. Uh, Receipt Bank is the leader in bookkeeping automation uh, through a SaaS model. Um, you know, we followed the company for about 12, 18 months, uh, have watched them scale. The company's never raised any institutional capital, uh, but it's been able to build you know, a good-sized business operating across three continents uh, with tens of thousands of end, uh, end user customers, um, but no institutional VC. So we invest in the business, so what do we do? So the first thing that we find with bootstrap companies is you usually have passionate, amazing, driven founders, um, but you need to build a second level management team and board out. So we work with the company to hire the best VP level team um, across, uh, across the globe. We also help introduce the chairman to the business. The chairman, as we do in every single one of our deals, uh, is a bootstrap founder or bootstrap executive themselves who's successfully built a company uh, where they can work closely with the management team to help support their vision and help them essentially, if it's a first time founder, avoid mistakes that, uh, that, that the operator uh, may have made previously. Um, we're very actively working on how do we get this business to be the highest value company in a three to five year period. So things like pricing, strategy, geographic allocation, and so on. And um, the team is focused very much on operational excellence, execution, and we're supporting them to help them get their business to be worth a billion dollars in the next uh, the next few years. Um, we're active lead investors. Uh, we have a broader executive advisory network of people across Europe and the US to help support uh, our companies. They're incentivized to do it uh, through uh, through economics. I guess the other point is the transatlantic angle. So Kenneth is a uh, European and US fund, European, UK, and US fund. Um, so we invest uh, out of a single fund across Europe and the US. And the reason that's important is because for our US partners, every European is as important to them as the US deal. So when we say, hey, can you, some, you know, work with us to help expand this business across the US, you know, they see it as their first, uh, their first priority. And about half of the companies that we work with, we're working to expand, uh, expand into the US, uh, the US market. 
That's it. <laughs>